I think 2019 will be a much better year for Facebook. This you is do. probably the worst year for Facebook since the botched IPO in 2012. And so is this then, a, from an investor perspective, a screaming buy? I think it is. You know, listen, I, um, clearly, you know, this year has been bad, starting with the Cambridge Analytica crisis. Right. And the last week with uh, the revelation that they were potentially sharing our text messages with uh, Netflix and Spotify. So, you know, the media, investors, the users are, you know, questioning whether or not Facebook has a credit, credibility problem. And maybe they do. But advertisers I speak with are starting to ask the question, you know, is Facebook the best place to put my ads? Can I get a better ROI on another platform? And so those questions are starting to, you know, percolate. And I you think, think the answer is? Um, well, the answer they're coming back with is, you no, know, it is it, still the best place still to put the ads. Still the best place. It's, pr it's probably the most targeted right. platform on a granular level out okay, there. So here's the question as I see it. One is Instagram obviously working, WhatsApp obviously working. Right. Poor Facebook, classic Facebook is starting to, putting aside the politics, putting aside the privacy issues, is starting to lose a little bit of that cool factor. It is. They even lose a lot of the cool factor. And what does that mean long term? From an innovation standpoint, is there something that they can or will be doing that is somehow going to brighten this, uh, you know, shine up the toy, if you will? Yeah, so, no, it, it's a good point. And, and that's been happening for, I think, several years now. But I think um, with watch and video and making video um, essential to the platform, as well as um, with stories and monetizing stories and making stories a bigger part of that, um, the, the platform as opposed to the feed. You know, right. I think that could go a long way to capturing those, uh, at least younger users who have probably migrated over to Instagram to come back into the right. core Facebook platform and use it. Uh, Kelly Evans is not on Twitter. <laughs> really? Do you, yeah. Really, right? She, really? Do you, uh, <laughs> you sound shocked. Do you like, like Twitter? Is it I still stock? do like Twitter, yes. And where, it's a, it's a good where does Evan Spiegel and Snap stand in your world? Um, I'm still at a hold. I mean, the stock has collapsed this year. And it's not um, a raging buy for you? Not yet. You know, I, um, the data I've looked at, I'm still showing that advertisers. The story on the front of the journal today about Evan Spiegel, his style being a way of the past, not the future. You agree right. with that or not? Um, and partially. Um, you know, I think um, he needs to, I think, do a lot more inno innovation on the platform um, to get more users coming back onto the platform. The data I'm looking at suggesting that users are still fleeing the platform in mass. And advertisers are still um, challenged to put ads on a platform. So I'm not, even though the stock has collapsed, you know, I'm still not ready to put a buy on it yet.